So I was always fascinated by space and biology. So um, when I found out this research was going on in UNCG, I took initiative and um, asked if I could join in. We're testing plants to see what types of plants would be able to grow best in space. We're testing Arabidopsis thaliana, which is a model plant, and um, we've done over 150 genotypes of the plant. What we do in this lab is focusing on um, seeing which plants have the best growth under gravitational stress, under simulated conditions. And so we just look at the data and see which plants, which genotypes are able to grow well under that simulated uh, gravitational stress. Our major findings are two genotypes that we've found so far that have similar or better growth under gravitational stress uh, compared to their vertical grown uh, counterparts. So those two genotypes will be our prime candidates for further testing um, on the International Space Station. One thing that was really interesting was the amount of information that we could obtain from a three centimeter plant. So these seedlings, we'd have to count every single root pair on them and the shoot length, the root length, these were like really small and we use a high definition scanner to be able to catch that high resolution image. Sometimes our um, seedlings would be contaminated and we would have to rerun those experiments several times. And if we didn't have enough seeds, we would have to grow the plant and wait for it to produce seeds and collect and run the experiment. So in 2019, I got the NC Space Grant Undergraduate Research Award, um, which enabled me to work over summer on this project. And I was able to present my results to um, at the symposium. I'd like to thank Dr. Kiss and um, Dr. Tatiana Chimanovich for helping me in this lab. Um, they spent a lot of time and dedicated a lot of energy to make sure I got everything and was able to network and present my project in multiple conferences. <laughs>